In 1960, the 11th General Conference on Weights and Measures in Paris adopts the Système International d'Unité, based on units of meter, kilogram, second, ampere, kelvin, and candela. The light-emitting diode, or LED, invented in 1962 by Nick Holonyak at GE Labs, comes to be used in various devices. It also serves as a light source in optical fiber communications. New means of commuter-mediated communication are later explored by the U.S. Defense Department's Advanced Research Projects Agency in the ARPANET, a major forerunner of the Internet. Gordon Gould builds and names the first prototype optical laser in 1958. The first fully operational laser is built in 1960 by Theodore Maimon. As both computers and lasers become economically viable later in the decade, barcode technology is used for retail applications. Interference among electrical and electronic equipment is becoming increasingly troublesome. The IEC thus begins to coordinate standards that will help equipment manufacturers to establish electromagnetic compatibility. Nuclear magnetic resonance imaging is applied to human subjects and later becomes widespread in medical diagnosis as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. The Intel Corporation introduces the first microprocessors in 1971, the work of Robert Noyce and his team at Intel. Later the same year, the technology of liquid crystal display, or LCD, appears in a wristwatch thanks to the creative work of James L. Ferguson. Five years later, Apple creates the first home computer, the Apple II, and by 1982, Microsoft's Kazuhiko Nishi suggests the use of LCDs in the first generation of laptop computers. In 1979, the Sony Corporation produces the first personal Walkman cassette player. The rise of such portable electronic devices prompts standardization of small batteries. IBM launches its first personal computer in 1981, later versions of which adopt the Microsoft Windows operating system in 1985. The first compact discs go on sale in 1982 by Sony and Philips as the culmination, with other companies, of cooperative development on audio optical discs. Mobile or cellular telephones also become commercially available across the world, over 30 years after prototype systems had been proposed. In 1983, the Internet Protocol is universally adopted, opening up the new Internet to general communication between all computers. Six years later, Tim Berners-Lee, using HTML, launches the World Wide Web. The phenomenon of superconductivity had first been observed in 1911. Electricity flowed without resistance in mercury cooled to just 4 kelvins. By 1986, ceramic superconductors are developed to operate at up to 30 kelvins, opening up substantial scope for medical and military applications. The IEC moves to establish superconductivity standards within three years.